can, right? So Flight Lieutenant Nicole Brook, um, which is F-L-T-L, the shorthand, Nicole, N-I-C-O-L-E-B-R-O-O-K-E. -O -O -E. uh, I'm Flight Lieutenant Nicole Brook, and I am the Flight Commander for Three Squadrons Helicopter Operations in the Solomon Islands. Yeah, so we are here um, as part of a wider task force to support the Solomon Islands to have a successful Pacific Games. So we're working with the Royal Solomon Islands Police Force and the Australian Federal Police to ensure security and a successful Pacific Games. Our helicopters are here to provide any assistance required by the Solomon Islands Police Force. Cool, so we've done some, um, what did I say, we've done some very invaluable training with the Mercy ship here. Um, we have conducted aeromedical evacuation scenarios as well as um, ship ops training to ensure our air crew are proficient as well as getting ex exposure to other um, nations procedures and ships. We enjoy working with our Pacific partners and other nations to support the Pacific region and uh, it's a great opportunity to work together any chance we get because it's probably not if but when we will be able to work together in the future and we already have those established networks and training we know how each other are going to operate. It's been an excellent opportunity to work with Mercy and all the people that we've been involved with. Um, it's great to see how we do some things subtly different but we can all come together and still achieve the common goal. Three Squadron really appreciates the work that Senior Chief Zimmerman has put into to enable us to be able to train with Mercy and get us up and running for operations in the Solomon Islands. Going forward, I think we'll be able to continue this relationship for future exercises and hopefully operations in the Pacific. Uh, Chief Aviation Bushmate Godden, I'm here uh, inside the tower to help out the New Zealand Defence Force uh, land on board the Mercy. Uh, we're utilising them to practice for our uh, Roll Tube care that we have with the Pacific Partnership to be able to support them if they have uh, any medical needs that they can't handle. They'll actually helicopter them in the NH-90 
They'll come here, they'll land on our deck, and then our medical staff will provide support to them, uh, treat them, and then get them back out there and back to the airport where they... My actual role, I'm billeted here to be the air boss, so I'm just here to help out in the tower on the flight deck where I'm really needed. Uh, I talk to the pilots, make sure that the winds are in their favor to be able to land on the deck. Uh, luckily that we're anchored right now, so we don't really have to do too much of that, so. Uh, it's definitely different. It's very dynamic, uh, especially because we have to go through so many different people to get approval, uh, especially on the New Zealand side, because we have to go through the Pacific Partnership. Uh, the Solomon Islands government, they have to approve. Then the Australians, the New Zealand, they all have to get approval from their side, and then we have to get approval from our side. So it's a uh, very dynamic, very fluid. Uh, and then we also work with MSC, so we have to get their approval as well. So in 17 years, is the first time I've ever seen an H-90. Never even dealt with one before, so. I think it's awesome. Uh, it's a beautiful aircraft. Uh, the pilots are really well trained. Uh, they come in, uh, they land pretty much on the same spot every time. Uh, they're very smooth, so I really have enjoyed uh, working with them. We're just a roll, to, uh, roll two treatment facility right now, so we're providing a support to Pacific Games. So if they have anybody that they can't handle, they're going to send them our way. Our medical staff is going to in, intake them, do what they need to do to take care of the patient, and then we're going to get them back on the NH-90 and then get them back to uh, land, and then they're going to go back to whatever host country that, that they're from. I'm Chief Aviation Boatsmate Timothy Godden. I'm doing Air Ops in Solomon Islands for Pacific Partnership. Eric Joseph Zimmerman, E-R-I-C-J-O-S-E-P-H-Z-I-M-M-E-R-M-A-N-N. -E -N -N. Air Traffic Control Senior Chief, ACCS, hometown Anchorage, Alaska. Uh, my name is Senior Chief Eric Zimmerman here in the Solomon Islands Supporting Pacific Partnership 24 TAC-1. My role here is the MNOC Director, the Multinational Operations Center. And so what that means in supporting the largest multinational exer humanitarian exercise uh, that exists uh, I am here to be the hub of the spoken wheel that is all of our partner nation support that this year ranges from Chile to Germany to Japan to Great Britain, Australia, and New Zealand. So today was a culmination of several weeks of coordination with the New Zealand Defense Force to arrange air operations for one of their NH-90 helicopters to practice operating using interoperability with our folks here on the USNS Mercy, the Deck Department, Air Ops Department, to conduct training to ensure safe infill and exfill of patients on our platform. Um, here in the supporting the Pacific Games and the Solomon Islands, uh, we're a tier two medical facility. So in the event of a casualty or an injury uh, during the Pacific Games, in the event that that patient needs to be airlifted onto our platform to seek medical care, uh, our job is to do that coordination with the partner nation forces as well as with the Air Ops Department here on deck to get that aircraft aboard, get that patient aboard safely so they can get the care that they require. Uh, it's, it's great, I love it. Um, I love learning new ways of kind of solving some of the same problems. Uh, everybody looks at things differently, learning the different uh, nuances of culture. Uh, fortunately, I come from an aviation background and most of us in aviation speak the same language from an aviation side. So uh, it's been a pleasure working with our partner nations and they're incredibly professional, incredibly supportive, and everybody we've had the pleasure of working with has bent over backwards to make this a success. It's a great opportunity to continue to serve. Um, I have been fortunate enough to have opportunities like this in the past, but uh, never underway. So this is my first time underway, and being able to leverage my civilian skill set as an air traffic controller uh, back home in Anchorage, Alaska, was able to, hear, able to be here and help coordinate flight operations between multinational countries and air traffic control and aerospace agencies. I'm a reservist in the Navy Reserve, uh, stationed in Anchorage, Alaska. Uh, the unit that I'm assigned to is Comtat Grew one out of San Diego, California, and uh, fundamentally an amphibious and expeditionary air traffic control unit. So using that skill set in the Navy plus my civilian skill set as an air traffic controller at Anchorage International Tower, I have leveraged that into this opportunity to aid in our operations here, working with multinational aviation folk, multinational militaries, uh, airspace, and regulatory Anything bodies. So I, I could not speak to that on any authority other than from the Air Ops Department. Uh, our job is to get any aircraft here safely, securely, get the patient offloaded safely and securely, and turned over to the expert medical staff on the Mercy. Yeah. So the, the Air Ops role uh, through me is the MNOC directors to coordinate with any partner nation air assets that'll be medevacking or airlifting patients to the Mercy ensuring they get here safely. They are, the patients are offloaded safely and are put in the hands of our expert medical staff on the Mercy. 
This is Senior Chief Eric Zimmerman aboard the USNS Mercy in the Solomon Islands wishing a Merry Christmas to everybody back home.